Number one, imagine producing infinity power by use of a motor and a car alternate. Well, I know you're curious of knowing how, and I'm sure you've come across such kind of videos claiming to produce free energy. But you end up trying them and get critical results. I'm here to tell you why you get such results and help you save your time and capital on such projects. So I came across this video, which looks pretty simple in design, and it's capable of producing decent amount of power. But the big question is, can this project work? Obviously, you'd say yes, because on this video, you can see it working. The reason this project won't work is because it violates the physics law, which states that power can neither be created nor destroyed. Now, we have to ask ourselves a question. This guy uses a motor and a car alternator. As you know, a car alternator comes without permanent magnets inside. So it's difficult for it to produce power without hooking up an external battery. The next thing you do when you spin this motor, it will also have an effect and produce an EMF or voltage as well. So in this video, we don't clearly understand which component is acting as a generator. And the point of correction to this video you cannot achieve cell run on such kind of a system. The motor demand is higher than the output, which leads to zero efficiency. And if you try to alter the configuration of the alternator by adding permanent magnet inside it, then you're doing that by sacrificing the efficiency of that alternator. So let me know in the comment sections what you think about this video. Number two, diving to the most critical one, using magnets and a copper wire to produce electricity. Well, I still wonder which physics law states that we can have energy on stationary magnet and copper wires. This guy uses a technique to run the motor and claims to be obtaining power from the copper wires. Well, magnets of the same pole cannot produce power. And we all know that generator principle is simple. You can only obtain power by rotating a ton of copper wires against a magnet, that is the north pole and the south pole, so as we can have an EMF on the copper wires, and vice versa. Now in this video nothing is spinning, and yet we have a decent power to run the motor. What a brilliant technique. So let me know in the comment section what to be thinking that this guy is using to run that motor. That's all for today guys, can't you subscribe for more videos and check out my channel for tech based videos and innovations that will not waste your time.